Empress of fire in the reign of the lion, eclipsing me in the only empire of the Olesians. Empress of fire in the reign of the lion. Venture forth! Okay, I'm going to set an alarm now because I cannot play all night. I do have to write some articles. So let's say, let's say. It, okay, so we'll play for one more hour and then we must stop hammer time. Stop hammer time. Yes, kitty cat, come here. That's pretty baller. everyone. We must be careful how we present ourselves. Why did Divine Victoria call the Exalted Council? She's kept Orlé from bothering us for the last two years. At increasing political cost, yes. She has done all she can, but the Exalted Council has become necessary. Orlé would control us, and based on their many marriage proposals, they have specific plans for you. Our real concern is Ferelden. They would see us disbanded entirely. Why do you keep licking your little lips? Are you nervous about something? He just keeps licking his lips over and over. What's wrong? He's done it like se oh, I just punched him in the face. <laughs> okay, one second, the screen's gonna go weird for a moment. Happy Mother Giselle. I spent last summer in Empress du Lyon. Distributing food sent from the exalted plains. The Dales are finally recovering. Since Corypheus fell, I think you may have spent more time traveling than I have. It keeps me out of trouble, Your Worship. I should mention that your horses at Suladin Keep were of great help. Please give my compliments to Baron de Chedin. Divine Victoria asked me to greet you on her behalf. She is currently attending to the Ferelden Ambassador's concerns. Or actually, I'm going to move it again. Because I think it'll look better if it's to the left. Divine Victoria has done these last two years. It is hardly for me to say, Inquisitor. But with respect, that's never stopped you before, Mother Giselle. Victoria yeah, says real talk, Mother Giselle, it never has. ...than the sunburst throne, but she has restored the Chantry. And also people's faith in it. We are lucky to have her. 
I'll speak to Divine Victoria. I believe she would appreciate that, Your Worship. The Divine sees the good that you can do and have done. Duke Cyril will wish to greet you on behalf of Ole. I believe he is currently speaking with the Tevinta Ambassador. Many of your friends have returned as well. I hope you have a chance to speak with them before the Exalted Council begins. The Imperium sent an ambassador? Yes, Your Worship. Dorian Pavas has taken the chance to return from Tevinta. Sorry guys, just zooming in the chat, so if you do want to talk, I can see it. Who has returned for the Exalted Council? Your dwarven friend, Master Tetras. For one, I understand he spent much of the last few years in Kirkwall. I believe Sir Blackwall has returned as well, although he now uses the name I'm Tom really happy they changed his name to Tom in this DLC. You can, I doubt you will have a chance once the Exalted Council is underway. Thank Bye. you, Mother Giselle. Your Worship, a final question. Right, so I'm don't stand in the middle of the street. You get hurt. The Elden would have the Inquisition disband. Ole sees its power as another feather in a chevalier's helmet. Chevalier. What do you wish to do with the Inquisition? Um, that's the other hard thing. I have to decide since this is my canon playthrough. Do I keep the Inquisition together, or do I disband it? What do you guys think, by the way? Here's what I'm thinking, but you guys should also tell me what you think. So, in my non-canon playthrough, I got rid of the Inquisition because I was like, our job is done. I'm thinking that I should only keep the Inquisition together in my Renegade playthrough, which has all my Renegade choices from Dragon Age Origins and Dragon Age 2. Because I feel like keeping the Inquisition together is not morally right. Because the Inquisition was made to defeat the Rift. And defeat Corypheus. And Corypheus has been defeated. So why would I keep the Inquisition around? Like, it just doesn't seem morally correct to do so. So I think I'm going to say our work is done. Corypheus is dead. We accomplished what we set out to do. If we're not needed any longer, and if it can be done peacefully, it may be time for the Inquisition to disband. Thank you. Make a watch over you, Inquisitor. I will not keep you any longer. Happy you guys want to snuggle today because it's chilly. I know you're just using me for my body heat, you naughty cats. It's okay. I was just curious what you guys thought too. So yeah, I think I will. I'll disband the Inquisition in this playthrough, and in my Renegade playthrough, I'll keep the Inquisition together. Empress of Fire and the Reign of the Lion. Bless you, Smokey. Smokey just sneezed all hard. What the? This girl scared the shit out of me. Look at her just sitting here all leaned up. What are you doing? Are you dead? Weird. Weird man. Whee! Why is the Inquisitor jumping around like a grasshopper? You know, that's a tough question, Hero for Alden. I think that I still... I still like the ambiance, the feel, and the emotions of Dragon Age Origins the best out of any game. I think Dragon Age Origins was dark, and it made me feel like I was in a world where I didn't always know what the right choice was, and uh, I just... I liked... I liked how conflicted I often felt in Dragon Age Origins. Dragon Age Inquisition is a little easier, a little lighter, it's got, you know, everything about it, even the music is way less dire and bloody and 
terrible. Um, but the gameplay of Dragon Age Inquisition is far superior, in my opinion. So, that's kind of why I'm like, oh no. I mean, I'm much more likely to go back and play Dragon Age Inquisition than Dragon Age Origins because it's next gen, things have moved on, um, and like I said, the gameplay is really great. But I don't think I'll ever have the emotions attached to it that I have attached to um, to Dragon Age Origins. Bear Bear. The Prince of Starkhaven wrote to you again. Of course he did. Just put that one in the pile with letters from the Merchants Guild. And the Captain of the City Guard had a very colorful message for me to deliver to you as well. Inquisitor, Andraste's ass, am I ever glad to see you? Don't talk about Andraste's ass. And the Inquisitor comes to the rescue once again. Is that what you call it? Uh, this is Bran Cave. Until recently, he was the. This is Bran Caven. He's a puss. I boss him around for a living. Kirkwall. And what are you doing now? I have resumed my post as Seneschal now that Master Tethras has been elected Viscount. You're the Viscount of Kirkwall now. Well, it seems right. the two of you have a great deal to discuss. Why don't I just leave you to it? Wow, well, wait a second. It turns out you fund enough reconstruction efforts in a city state, the nobles give you the worst job they can. Isn't it cool to think though that a dwarf is the Viscount of Kirkwall now? Like yeah, Varric isn't a very dwarfy dwarf, but like it's pretty cool. Look how beautiful I am. I'm so beautiful. I'm gonna take another screenshot real quick. One second. I'm so pretty, oh so pretty. Oh, I might need to sit down. You're the ruler of Kirkwall now, all of it. That's not that big a deal. I have a really pointy crown that I would. Zeverin is one of my favorite characters of all time. They voted me in because I got the harbor and businesses up and running again. Hey, Transwitch. They want shit fixed, and I can do that. Anyway, I was hoping I'd catch you before the summit got on. Got you a sort of present. You got me it's a present. It's official recognition of your title and holdings in Kirkwall. Congratulations. You're a contest now. You can't actually do that without it. Too late. Already did it. He's just mush him in the face. I also an alliance with the new Doing it anyway. Council of Wycombe. So Clan Lavellan has some political muscle to flex now. That needs to be reviewed by... <clears throat> you were leaving us to talk, remember? My favorite character in Dragon Age Origins was Zevran, followed by Shale, and then it gets murky because I liked a bunch of them. But Zevran's definitely my top, and then Shale. Um, and in fact, I would have romanced him in my canon playthrough, but I thought that I could become queen of Ferelden because people told me I could, but I was an elf, so I couldn't. So I romanced Alistair for no reason. Anyway. Um, and then in Dragon Age 2, my favorite characters were Aveline and, um... Wow, really? Aveline and Isabel. Isabella, there we go. Um, I wanted to love Fenris because I loved his character design, I loved that he was moody and stuff, but he ended up just coming off as really annoying and kind of a crybaby. And Anders was just fucking nuts. I couldn't like him at all. Oh, in Dragon Age Awakening, my favorite character was Sigrun. I wish Sigrun would come back. Um, and then in this game, I love Dorian. I love Vivienne, because she's a bitch. I love Iron Bull. I love Solas. I think I love every single character in this one. Are there any characters that I don't like? I think they all grew on me, because, like, I don't really like Sarah that much, but... She's also been pretty loyal as a friend once you really get her to that point where she's like your sister. And then Cole, Cole would be more boring, I think, if he didn't say interesting things all the time. 
black wall i fell in love with because he fell in love with me as a kunari though when you're not romancing him he's a lot more boring so yeah i think they did such a good job with these characters yeah i was alistair's mistress as well and it made me very unhappy Yeah, if Piper's was here, he would cry to hear me say that I don't really like Sarah. Um, or that I didn't, I don't love Sarah. He wants me to romance her in my next playthrough, and I'm like, no, it's never going to happen. What are you up to? I feel like I should be suspicious. Look, it's really not that big a deal. I do think Cole oh, is only a fulfilling character if you've read the books. It's the key to the city. You can't give that away without approval from the council and a special ceremony. It's... it's just symbolic, anyway. It controls one of the giant chain nets in the harbor. Really? That is so much better than I thought. This operates those giant chains. Can I try it? No. no. I don't know how this council no. thing is going to end for the Inquisition. But whatever oh yeah, decide, I'm very in love with Solus. Place lined up in Kirkwall if you want it. Also, uh, control of the harbor, I guess. Anyway, you should meet with the diplomats. We'll get in a game of Wicked Grace before I go back, though, right? I wouldn't miss it. Don't bet any public buildings this time. That's awkward. I own estates. I am the Comtesse. I own a key to the city. Oh, and also, I own this one warehouse. Because Varric lost it in a bit. I'll be here if you need Yeah, when Solus, man, when Solus grabbed me up and kissed me, I was like, oh! I had to record that shit as a gift, and I watch it over and over and over again. And I may have written a fan fiction about Solus. I have written a fan fiction about Solus, but it has not been released to the world. I actually have um, a Patreon goal. If any of you are watching and you don't know, I do Patreon. It's where you, you can pay like a dollar a month and you can read my short stories. Anyway, one of my goals is if I get to a certain amount of money per month, um, I will release that fan fiction. <laughs> It's very embarrassing. Um, it will be in the weirder section. Maybe over here? Let's just see. I'm looking for something very specific. Can I help you with your shopping? No, no, shh. Know what I'm looking for. Alright, those are the stone. This is my favorite shop in the entire game. And I'm so sad the other shops didn't look like this. You romanced him three times? Did you pick different options each time? Or did you just keep doing it? I have a save before every single romantic encounter with Solus so that I can go back and just rewatch it at any time. For my personal pleasure. Okay, so this is every single plant. Good to know. a lot of front defense. Plus 20 attack. Can I just literally not afford that? Or maybe it's just not. Oh, I, my ro only a rogue can use it. I'm buying this. This is the a reference to Shale's um, DLC, Kitty's Collar.
These are so good. I want them all. Alright, I'm not going to buy them all right now. But I'm going to think about it. I'm glad I have so much money. <laughs> uh, I think I wanted the red lyrium. Now that I've gotten all of my very expensive shopping done. You romance Cullen twice, Dorian once, and Cassandra once. Which one and is Solus your favorite romance out of those? I haven't romanced Cullen or Dorian or Cassandra. I'm almost considering making a male inquisitor just to romance Dorian, but I'm also kind of like, that would be the only reason I'd make a male, so I kind of don't want to make a male. I made a male in Dragon Age Origins to romance Morrigan, and that's my renegade Dragon Age Origins playthrough, because I was not a good mage, and um, that's the one that leads to my dwarven inquisitor, who's romancing Ironbolt. But I don't know, I'm still thinking about it. I don't know why, as a male Inquisitor, you can't convince uh, Iron Bull and Dorian to have a threesome with you, by the way. I think that is a huge oversight. Oh. So, actually, Blackwell is a true Grey Warden now. He did his joining and everything. such creepy things to shoot at. <laughs> Fashionably late. I thought you weren't gonna show. Are you chiding me? I'm late, and you decide to make the Winter Palace rubble. Eh? Never liked it anyway. Too fancy. So tell me everything that happened while I was I'm away. so fancy. And the Winter Palace. Strolls up, hands filled with ripe squashes, and says, Sir, I must report that it was an utter boondoggle. <laughs> uh, maybe you had to be there. <laughs> I'm not sure being there would have helped. And please never do that voice again. <laughs> anyway, nice to be back. Though I'm not sure what to think of this council. The Wardens will be missing me, but they aren't going to keep me away from a friend who might need my sword arm. I could use more than your sword arm. <laughs> if that's your sword arm, I think I'm better off without it. Think you can do better? Yes. Inquisitor. I, so it's nice to know they gave a completely different conversation for him if he's uh, not romanced. What was that noise? I'm so fancy. You already know. Well, of course, we're going to make me purple. Oh, purple everything. Purple out. Let's get all purpled up. Ooh. Should I do that one? Okay, so it's between this one or this one. I think I'm going to do this one. I don't even know where this 
is. This does not actually appear to be anywhere. I'm so fancy. I'm the Winter Palace. Well, I gotta go buy some Gernhide. This is very important. Piper says a beard like Blackwell's Piper's does not, unfortunately. Maybe he should, though. Maybe he should. Is it Gurn? I think it's... I don't know. I think it's Gurgut, maybe. How did I immediately forget what I actually needed? I can't believe, me. I can't believe this either. Okay, Harden Gurgut. No, Harden Gurn. Harden Gurn is what I wanted. All right. I have no idea why this isn't already purple, although that dragon bone looks pretty dope. I'm so fancy. I haven't decided who I'm taking on the trip with me, so I won't die all their weapons yet. I mean, all their armor. And we want to do damage versus the living. And we should do one of these, too. Alright, we don't need any armor. And I don't think I need to modify anything at the moment. We'll do that before I head out for the battle. For the battle! Did y'all see that thing that kept appearing and disappearing? anything about systems. I think systems doesn't actually exist in real life. I think he's a collection of computer programs that's pretending it's sentient. Um, but Piper's, yes, I have seen. We're Facebook friends. I've seen his face. He has longish hair. Where is Cassandra? That's strange. Very peculiar. Well met. Chada. <laughs> All right, so I'll probably put more things in here soon, but not yet. I still have to figure some stuff out. Oh, though I should definitely change my outfit. Ooh, look how formal and beautiful I am. I gotta go back in there before I forget to do this. I need to fix Varric's crossbow. I'm so fancy. 
why? Who got that song stuck in my head? That's interesting. What is ardent? Wait. Didn't I just buy? What? Huh? Wait, are they just not showing up because I put them in storage? Because that's definitely not how that's supposed to work. But let me go grab them just in case that is actually what's happening. You paladin, I don't know what you look like. I don't know. All right, let's go see if we can modify it now. There we go. So 50 damage, 14 attack, 23 critical. This is 137 damage and 36 attack but it would take away my 23% critical bonus. We're just gonna roll with it. Pishinge. Need more rash vine, no problem. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was stupid. That was Sarah not paying attention. Let's go buy some rash vine. Rash, rash, rashy, rashy. You're so rashy. You're so rashy. You already know. You've got rashes all over from Tokyo. You should tweet me one of your photos so I can see what you look like. Ah, oh, it's not even what I meant to buy. God, guys, make me pay attention. <laughs> I just spent a bunch of money buying something I did not need. Normal Sarah activities. I love these little houses. They're so cute. Boom, all right. Tonics. Nope, that's the only one I was worried about. Grenades. Fully done, fully done, fully done. All right, that seems fine. You won't worry about equipping potions until I'm sure who I'm gonna use to play this. Oh, hello, random lady that I totally did not see standing there. What are you doing? What are you doing, lady? You look suspicious. Highly suspicious. You guys, send me all your pictures. Stop being coy. Vivienne, she's so cute. I wonder if there's anybody else I should read about who our relationship would have changed with. Iron Bull would probably have a different relationship with me. Cole will have a different relationship with me. Tech, stop being coy. I look crazy half the time and I still post pictures. Mm. 
Something involving hats, probably. Farrakh would know. It's very important that I sound reassuring. The Inquisitor has so much to deal with already, you should not have to worry about the state of the Chantry. You could say something about how well the Red Lyrium cleanup efforts have gone, can't you? And perhaps mention that Templars and Mages... No, never mind, that subject has been discussed at us. Oh, perhaps mention the play about the Inquisitor's heroism that's being performed? That would be good to hear about, I'm sure. Oh, I'm late for a meeting with some revered mothers from Navarre. Just finish this up with something appropriate. <laughs> Wow, that letter writer's a dick. What a dick. What a dick. That's what Sarah says. Alright, I'm gonna save before I talk to these two. Do it! Throw me a link. I do know that you're fabulous, Casper. <laughs> I remember the muscle picture. I don't remember it well, because I don't have a good memory. What was I about to say? I, in this playthrough, I'm romancing Solus. So, I'm lonely and sad at the moment. My heart is broken in two. Hey, Krem. You're dead in my other playthrough. I'm glad you're here. Listen, listen. I need you to keep the chief distracted by this Nymphus and Dragon and Skull from the room behind you. I'm looking I'm forward, forward to seeing to where this goes. goes. It's for his birthday. Okay. I'll see what I can do, Krem. <laughs> All right, here he comes. Just keep him talking. He loves talking. He loves talking. Hey, boss. Good to see you. I'm in love with you. Just love me. I sure like night enchanting. That's interesting. I guess I chose a lot more Liliana stuff in this playthrough. Why are none of these topics topics that Ironbull would ever want to talk to me about? Most mages hate the thick of battle, but I can't imagine hanging back. It's nice to get your hands dirty. That's why I like you, boss. You swing the sword. It's a weird sword made out of magic, but still. It's good to see that the veil has largely healed, now that most of the major rifts are closed. You might think otherwise, but the veil isn't technically a physical barrier. It's more like a magical vibration that repels the fade. Hmm. Is it still there? Do you think the news of the Exalted Council could affect the Lyrium shipments from Orzammar? Uh, maybe. <laughs> what is happening? Did you know that Ferelden has its own names for lords? The country is divided into ten is, governed by tens. Inside those are cities and arlings ruled by arls, and then there's the Banorn. It's a large area of countryside ruled by multiple bands. <laughs> Good to know. to see the remnants of Syrian culture here. Most of it was deliberately erased during Orlesian unification under the reign of Mathrath's son, Isarath. Uh-huh. Surprise! Happy birthday, Chief! Oh, you guys! You got me! <laughs> He 
You should have been like, that's why you were saying all that boring shit to me. <laughs> It's funny, when Krem's dead, you can't talk to him at all. He just says, hey boss. Bees. Hey, Sarah. Inquisitor Herald. Glad to be back, though. Whatever it is, this lot have shoved up their sleeves. Just right up in there. <laughs> That's it. It's been some time. Well, we don't know what's what, so what's there to go on about? It's Inquisition business, innit? That's all we are. Maybe sort out how they want to mess with us. Then there'll be something to talk about. Interesting. That's a very different conversation than she wanted to have with me before. I didn't notice that there's a werewolf head, a nug head... That's a pretty big nug and a bear head hanging up on the wall. All right, where are you at, Coley Cole? Inquisitor, I see you have time for afternoon refreshments. Glimmering, glittering, perfect cut, mask, a maze of gemstones. She will think it pretty. Excuse me, I might, um... You're useful to have around, Cole. He wants stones the color of his eyes. Happy, bright, beaming, being seen, not seeing. And I needed the table. For breadcrumbs. Birds like breadcrumbs. Ah! Big hideous birds. Inquisitor, how good to see you here. I came to sit and pen another song. Sweet songs, poignant pain plants joy that grows later. She can't see me. I help her help people. I gathered. You're smart and kind. You're worthy of true love. Hello, Alam Shiraz! The fire of Siva must be fueled by wine. Ideally, shared with adoring fans. But not with him. You need somebody nice. <laughs> yes, better. He'll be gentle. <laughs> so will you. You're with the Chargers, are you not? I've seen you in the Skyhold Tavern where I sing. Oh, yes. I, I love your songs. Sometimes I'd sit up on the chair to take a better look at your songs. The Chargers have their own song, if you'd like to hear it. Good. Follow the fields! I've just been field really hard. So, for those of you who didn't see my other playthrough, if you make Cole more human, they date, and together they make people feel better with their songs. So now in this one, he hooked her up with Krim, which is A, awesome, because Krim gets to have a romance, which, Bioware, I see what you're doing there, good job. But I also really, really like that Zither was in it, because Zither's just so crazy. He was supposed to be an April Fool's joke, and there he is in the fucking DLC, like, ah, so good. I wish they'd put Isabella in. You sure they'll both be alright when Krem tells her? Strong arms, a sweet voice. Father wanted me to be happy. Which one of them is that? Both. Aww. <laughs> like a creep? Or in a good way? <laughs> 
Yay, everyone is full of love and joy. I'm like a fairy of joy. I'm a love fairy. Sprinkling love all around. There we go. You do look stupid standing back here like this. I just wanted you to know. Okay, I think that's everybody, right? Except Cassandra, who wasn't there. Is that a glitch or does she just not always appear where she needs to be? Oh, I gotta go say hi to Josephine. Where the freak is Cassandra then? Is that a glitch? And what was that thing that just popped up out of nowhere? I should probably look that up. Where was I? This way. Empress of fire in the reign of lion. <sighs> you guys, stop making out right here in the middle of everything. It's really rude. She's good at room. I'm excited. I'm gonna go look at the tweet. Load. Taking forever. It's been it's quite, quite a day, day so far, day has, it has it not? I've been I've speaking been with representatives from everywhere. everywhere. Have they given you trouble? trouble? Not, at, not all. at all. It is quite it's alarming. Quite alarm. It means they are all saving themselves up for later. You paladin! You walk with me? Why are you look at that beautiful like smile? Why are, are you being sneaky? The council becomes inescapable. The palace has been most accommodating. We are, after all, here at yeah. their insistence, but the ministers may... No. No more talk of the council. Yeah, it's really so boring, Josie. I wasn't even listening to you. Relaxed fashion. Then why can I still see those wheels turning in your head? <sighs> Work carries a certain momentum. The truth is, there is a small entertainment happening tonight, to which I may be able to find a pair of invitations. You'd like me to go with you? Oh, very much so. In all the years you worked with Orlais, you had so little time to enjoy its culture. I do wish you'd warned me the game would take more work after Halam Shiral. <laughs> it's strange. Those were somehow simpler times. With all that's been happening, I promised myself a single evening out. I'd very much like to go with a friend. Then let's go, Josie, you boring motherfucker. And what is this small entertainment? Something to ease our minds. I would very much like to surprise you with the details. Why not? Josephine, I put myself in your capable hands. Splendid. I will arrange things at once. The past years have been so busy. We have earned at least a few moments of rest. Also, I where's Vivian with our sense. better outfits? Oh, bravo! Bravo! This was the weirdest cut choice of everything. It was so strange. I don't remember what I picked last time. This was your idea of a restful evening. Oh, wasn't it lovely? It's been so long since I've gone to the opera. But tell me, did you enjoy the performance? What I really enjoyed was seeing you put your duties aside for a change. I truly did. Thank you for coming. It's been too long since I just 
expensive. And why are we wearing beautiful ballroom gowns? This is stupid. Here's to nothing. May it happen to us more often. Here's to nothing. Oh, look. The encore signal. And that sounds like a crazy opera. I do hope you recover from your night at the opera. Any earring you should go away in a day or two. It is good to see you. It's good to see you too, Gra. Weird, as usual. Yes, that's what I said. All of the letters, all of the letters. weird thing didn't appear this time. I'm gonna look up what it is right now. Smokey made a crazy noise, maybe he doesn't want me to look it up. Let's see if Cassandra is magically back. She's not there. Weird. Let's do a save. I just found another quest that I didn't notice before, so I'm going to go do it. I'm not going to tell you guys what the quest is until I do it. Why am I stuck in a door? Wow, okay. And what did they need? All's well, it seems. Of course. Okay, I can't do those. Yet. Yep, that's the random ass mission. Fixing crooked paintings. What? Uh, I know a ton of Dragon Age lore. I have both Volume 1 and 2 of World of Thetis. I've read all of the books, I've read all of the comics, and I've played all of the games. Tech, I'd love to say that you have a lovely smile, but you sent me a picture where you're not freaking smiling. Great job. You have a lovely hat.
Let that be a lesson to you. Make her smile upon you. You hear that? That's what the person just said. They're trying to tell you something. You gotta smile. The uh, Descent DLC? It doesn't take that long at all. It depends on uh, if you're playing on easy or hard or anything like that. You there! You're to dodge, not catch. If that ball were a fireball, you'd be dead. If you try to find every single hidden thing, I think you could stretch it to two hours. They don't breed Mabari in Ole. <laughs> Merchant said he was abandoned. Perhaps his owner's tired of the novelty. He's not supposed to. I don't think you understand. Another Ferelden trapped at the Winter Palace. I couldn't leave him to that fate. I never expected you to make friends at a political ca <laughs> So they have. The Inquisition will change. Whatever happens, our people, you, Liliana, Josephine, will have my support in whatever form you require. If your support comes with that of your new friend, I'm sold. I know a useful ally when I see one. You can help. Dodge this, and I'll find overpriced or leasing dog treats before we go. I don't know what you're talking about, honestly. What are you trying to ask? I found so many, many bones. Hey, yeah. I don't need stairs. Lily! Will you walk with me? Sure. The first time I came to the Winter Palace, I was only 18. Will the expedition in the Deep Roads ever end? There have been multiple expeditions in the Deep Roads, so I don't really know what you mean. Then I could count. Like, it's all still here, still bright. What do you? Which which expedition? Everything changes, bruh. Everything changes. People, most of all. Yes. Now all I can see are the knives in the shadows, the poison in jewel goblets. They seek to tear the Inquisition down. You feel it, no? Fear. I'd fear anyone with our vaults of secrets, wouldn't you? It is not our secrets, nor our soldiers. There have always been spy masters in private armies. They are afraid of nothing so much as the hand that directs it all. Mine. Already your actions have begun to reshape Thedas. The Deep Road spans the entire continent of Thedas. It was only a matter of time before they Like, it's the, the whole... Thedas, underneath it, is the Deep Roads. That's, like, the entire continent. It's okay. Um, so, the Deep Roads is huge. We only see, mostly, like, the only city that's supposedly still left after the Darkspawn destroyed it is Orzammar. Although they've just rediscovered that Cal Shirak has also survived, but they're in the north near Tevinter. And I'm pretty sure they're going to be in Dragon Age 4, since there's been so many hints talking about them. Um, and we're going to be in Tevinter next game. I think we're going to go to Cal Shirak instead of Orzammar. So there's only two cities left alive in uh, the Deep Roads, which is Orzammar and Cal Shirak. All of the other cities have been destroyed, but you can still go find them. Anytime you go down, if there's a hole, you could end up in the Deep Roads. What? You're not serious. They cannot act against what they cannot see. Publicly, I will of course retire from this life, as one would expect. Let them think they finally won. I shall take up charity work, become a patron of the arts, as all respectable women of my age do. And perhaps take on a protégé. Our work never ends, Inquisitor. We just need fewer witnesses. Killing a dragon is so hard on Nightmare. 
Are you talking to yourself, sir? What are you doing? What are you just sitting here talking to an empty couch for? Oh, wait. There's probably a letter I was supposed to pick up. Nope, it's here later. Okay. Okay. I didn't mean to step on your head, lady. I'm very sorry. Oh. I've got to look up that one. Well, I don't really want to do that, since I don't feel like I need dexterity at the cost of gold. Oh well, I'll consider doing it. I'll do a save point before going on my mission. Time. Okay, I'm gonna talk to the last few people and then I'm gonna stop playing. For today. Whee! Vivienne, my darling, you're beautiful. Darling, you made it. Excellent. I shared your disappointment ages ago, and they do appreciate punctuality. Appointment? With the Imperial Garden Spa, of course. You work so hard, my dear. I wanted to treat you. I've never heard of a fancy spa serving elves. You are the Inquisitor, darling. Savior of the Empire. It pains me that you even have to ask. You've clearly been living too long in barely civilized conditions. Did you hear something? Relax, darling. It's spa day. How have you been? It seems ages since we've spoken. I know you were cruelly disappointed when Solus left. I'm still not over what happened. You deserve so much better, darling. But let's not dwell on the past. Yes, I did. Did someone chase Sarah with a broom? Because that's hilarious. Yes, you run into Morrigan in Inquisition and Flemeth in Inquisition. You get a lot more of their story. Hero for Reldon, you should fight one of the easier the two dragons. So the dragon in Crestwood is one of the easiest dragons. And then, what's the other easy dragon? Um, that dragon in the Emerald Graves? I feel like that dragon wasn't that hard. You must be keeping very busy. The circle needs more supervision than a toddler. It may master using the privy on its own any day now. You should just have a baby, Vivian. It'd be adorable. Don't you feel better, my dear? This place really does work miracles. What happened? Darling, it's spa day. Don't fret. You'll undo all the good they've done. <laughs> Come along, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. They, have they have other appointments, other appointments, you, appointments know. you know. Darling, it's spa day.
All of the hams. You just left a bunch of hams laying around. Darling, what can I do for you? Nothing. I heard the sound of a harlequin, but I don't see one. Apparently when you hear the noise, you're supposed to look around for them and tag them. But if you look at them, they'll disappear. dragon is that easy because you've got to fight all those little guys too. Whereas there's no extra people, little creatures to fight in the one, um, in the Emerald Graves. And it flies away a lot so you have plenty of time to, uh, heal up. He's climbing up those stairs like it pains him, huh? all these bones in these crazy places. It's a waste of expensive bones. Not everybody likes the cheap pipers. And I don't think it's easy to stand around for an hour shooting a beam slowly at a dragon. Cassandra looks so unhappy. Which is, which is, uh, but you'll have, have to inquisit. It's, it's good, good to, to see you, my friend. friend. Thrilled, Thrilled to be at the exalted council, Lord Parvis. Oh, uh, riveted. Orle wants the Inquisition tamed, Ferelden wants it gone, the Chantry medals, and Tavinta sends but one ambassador. That's me, by the way. Stop it, Casper. A reward for my interest in the side. Thankfully, Ambassador Pavis is a token appointment. Call on me as you like. I shall call on you all the time because you are my boo. Inquisitor, the Duke Cyril Montfort, member of the Council of Heralds. I have long followed. Is that sentiment shared? <laughs> of course. Ole wishes only to offer respectful guidance to the Inquisition. The Inquisition's grown. It would be shocking if they didn't find us a threat. Yet you've started no major wars. I have not forgotten Justinia's death. Uh, more than the good you have done. It is a good whatever happens in Queen. Okay, homie. Maki Briala. Oh yeah, that's right, I made him hook up. I 
It's me, Shira Levelin. Yeah, money. Caprice coin. Yeah, you're supposed to be a friendly ghost. Ah, uh, what do they need? Ferelden's look stupid. <laughs> oh, that's why Cassandra wasn't over there. I'm stupid. Am I Not at all. The Isle of Redcliffe was telling me of a Van He represents Ferelden at the summit. Inquisitor, good to meet you. I had hoped to steal a moment of the Divine's time. Very well. We'll continue this later, your perfection. I am your supposed perfection. to be impartial while speaking for the Chantry, but I confess that neutrality is beyond me. I may be the Divine, but I will always be your friend. And I can hardly ignore the fate of the Inquisition that I began. It's true, you can't, so be on my side. When world powers want to discuss plans for the future, I get nervous. Me too. I share your concern. The Inquisition is still needed. Some delegates do not yet understand that. I must attend to other matters. If you are you me, I am ready to assist. And full of poopy. Ah, poopy. Hello, little Schmucky. Look up here, Inquisitor. The Crown's anxious for news. And your thoughts on Ferelden's position? The breach is long gone, yet Skyhold's army remains. Ferelden can't continue to ignore soldiers on its borders. I appreciate knowing that. You are owed that, Inquisitor, especially here. These Orlesians will talk circles around you before you get a simple greeting out. I won't keep you longer. We'll have words enough when the Exalted Council begins. I will have words for you! Alright, any old friends that I still need to catch? Oh yeah, I think I have to finish catching up with Dory. Door door! As the most eloquent dwarf you know, sparkles... Oop. Speech! I just hit my poor baby. Way too much speech. Are you okay? Really I'm sorry. What's I'm going sorry. Inquisitor, you're just in time. Sparkles, the Imperium doesn't deserve you. Or wants you. It, it may kill you. But yeah, I don't like him at all now. Is, if it counts. And you didn't know. Okay, Holmes. Time to take the party elsewhere. Tom will never want to get I swear. Uh, leave him. Dorian, what is on your butt? It's true. When the Exalted Council has ended, I'm going back to Tabinta. For good, this time. You know I'll miss you. Naturally. My father is dead. Assassinated, I believe. I received notice this morning. A perversely cheerful letter congratulating me on assuming his seat in the Magisterium. I didn't even see him when I was home. I had no idea he would leave me everything. This ambassadorship, his doing, I'm told. He must have wanted me away when the trouble began. I have to go back. You'll need help. I could go with you. Not this time, my friend. I won't be entirely without support. Mayverus has gathered other Majesties who feel as we do. 
I hope Maveris is in Dragon Age 4. In the Magisterium. I'll teach them manners. Take them shopping. It'll be fun. <laughs> I wish you safe travels. And the best of luck. Oh, I'll need it, thank you. Magisters are tricksy bastards. A present. A going away present. It's a sending crystal. Amazing what friendship to the Inquisition gives you access to. If I get in over my head, or you're overwhelmed with sorrow for lack of my velvety voice, magic. What? You didn't think... You are my dearest friend. Perhaps my only friend. That will never change, no matter where we are. Now let's finish the good wine before the others get back. Oh, door, door. You're my boo. Door, door, you'll always be my oh, my oh, my oh, my oh, my boo. I should look around. I want to hear this song. Slightly suspect. Interesting. It's about all of us. Bravo, bravo.
Come here. Hello. Oh, I walk stupid. Is everything all right? Yes. yes. Well, I wanted to speak with you, and now you're here. Should I leave and come back later so you can try again? <laughs> Always with clever suggestions. Maybe you should sit. I can stand. Maybe I should sit. Now I sit. That's a good way of tricking somebody to sit down. Look at her face! Inquisitor, I want you to know that I am your friend. I will always be your friend. Oh, well, that's... So I hope to give you sound advice on this momentous day. Do what is in your heart, my friend. No matter what anyone might tell you. Maybe I should leave and come back. I think I missed the beginning. Oh, I'm talking about marriage. Marriage! Marriage? I can't imagine who it is. Maka knows you've kept it secret, but if marriage is... You're not proposing to anyone. I am going to kill... Why him. did you believe Varric? Everything he says. Why? I don't know! <laughs> he said I was going to propose. He mentioned a proposal. I suppose I filled in the blanks. Or he did this on purpose. That dwarf gets entirely too much joy from my discomfort. <laughs> You're adorable. There are far worse things to be. Being Inquisitor has brought you good things. Many good things. But only a few have been by your choice. Take what happened. Well, that's it, Cassandra. I'm marrying you. <laughs> that is all I meant to say. Advice from a friend for the days to come. Aww. I love you too, Cass. How did Varric of all people become... I heard the noise that meant that there was... I think it's really weird that I can no longer get through this door. Maybe so at how they want to mess with it. I'm so sad that Sarah doesn't want to talk to me. Hey, boss. Alright, I don't see a damn Harlequin around. There's supposed to be one. Because I heard the noise. Oh, well. She does look a wee bit silly, doesn't she? Alright, I know I said a while ago I was going to stop, but now I'm actually going to stop. I will probably stream again tomorrow. See you guys. Thanks for watching.